Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita, welcome. Now, if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for supporting my channel by tuning back in. All right, you guys, today's video is going to be all about the heavy hitters. We are in that time of the year where we just trying to bring out all of the bangers, <laughs> all of the beast modes, all of that, okay? so. This list is going to give you 10 true bangers. You spray these on and you can go about your day. Well, maybe with the exception of one by Tom Ford, of course. <laughs> but nonetheless, hey, these are still going to give you humongous sillage clouds, okay? When you put these on, people are going to know that you're in the building, okay? Maybe before you even get there. All right, now, if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in hearing more about, then just keep watching. Hey, you guys, so the first beast mode uh, fragrance on this list is going to be a vanilla bomb. This is vanilla, this is sandalwood, this is whipped cream, this is chestnuts. And I am talking about This Is Her by Sadig and Voltaire. And let me tell you, when you put this one on, you can spray it and forget it. This scent is so creamy, so beautiful, so delicious, but it projects, okay, across the room. You spray this, and it's going to be with you all day on your skin. This is going to project all day, okay? Skin, clothes, wherever you spray it, it's going to be there. This is an amazing scent, and especially for designer brand. This is so delicious, not overly sweet, more of a sandalwood balm if you ask me. This is very high on the vanilla, on the sandalwood. Now, chestnuts is just giving it this, oh, this delicious nutty vibe, which is so different from like an almond or pistachio. Like this is so distinctly different and I enjoy it. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful scent that is going to be perfect for fall and winter, okay? When you wear this, Everyone will know that you were there after you left, okay? <laughs> All right, now the next one. I did not want to put this on the list, but how could I leave it out? Because Baccarat Rouge Trial 40 is just a beast. It is so strange because this is a very whipped, airy fragrance. It's very sweet, but it projects. Okay, it lasts. This is a beast mode fragrance. Some people say that it plays like a disappearing act, um, that it goes and it comes. Baccarat is with me all day. It don't leave. It doesn't, it doesn't do, you know, the you can smell it one minute and then you can't, but the other people around it can smell you. That's not how this behaves on my skin. When I put this on, I smell it after a long day, just as clear as day. <laughs> is when I sprayed it that morning. I mean, I don't know what they put in here to just make it last so long, but this is a beautiful, sugary, vanillic, ambery, saffron scent. Now, I don't know if it's something about saffron, but one, two, three, four of these, I think have saffron on this list. So I don't know if that contributes to the lasting power, but saffron is, is becoming um like a theme. Like my, my, my heaviest hitters, they all have saffron in it. So I don't know. But anyway, Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean, Beast Mode. All right, now the next one is actually going to be a very vanillic, salty, incense woody scent. And this is a blue turquoise, okay? This is by the Armani Privé uh, line. This is a private line. And oh my goodness, this is such a 
powerful scent. It's a beachy scent. And usually those scents are not typically going to be beast mode. They're not going to project. They're not going to last. This thing lasts all dang day. When you put it on, I try to wash this off. And sometimes I can't, if I, if I spray this, and for some reason I want to change up my scent, you know, five, six hours later from going somewhere different, it's hard for me to even wash this off my skin. That's how beast mode this is. And for it to be, you know, like a, just a vanilla salty scent, that's very unusual. I wasn't expecting that when I got this. I thought this was gonna be, you know, like like beach walk, like, um, it's no. No, baby, this, this, this is a beast. This is a summertime beast mold projecting scent. It is so stunning. Okay, so the notes of blue turquoise, it has top notes of salt, incense, and black pepper. Mm, and you're getting all of that. Oh, it is so, oh, I just cannot put in words how delicious this smell is. I wish that you would just smell it already. <laughs> This has a middle note of ylang ylang. It's got cypriol oil and Indian jasmine in the middle, okay? Just beautiful. Then in the base, we've got vanilla, we've got moss, and we've got sandalwood, okay? So this is just incense -y. It's vanilla, it's a little spicy, super creamy. I mean, it is a stellar performer and just very unexpected beast. It, it, Get your hands on it, get your nose on it. It's, it's amazing. I think I need to smell some more from this line because, honey, the way this projects, the way Rouge Malakit projects, what are the other two, what are the other two fragrances doing that's in that, that um, series of four that they came out with? I'm dying to know. If you know, drop in the comments below and let me know because this little uh, turquoise bottle and that red bottle from that line is banging, okay? They are bangers and beasts. All right, so the next one is going to be Passion Delamore from the House of Siage. This scent, I don't wear it enough and I don't know why. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. Okay, so you got saffron, okay? And you've got a cotton candy note. And so it, it's going to give you a Baccarat Rouge vibe, but they are not dupes. They're not super similar because this goes in a very different direction once the oud comes in. <laughs> this is such a beautiful scent. So the notes of Passion Delamore are raspberry, saffron, and bergamot in the opening. Then you have raspberry, amaris, lily of the valley in the middle. Base notes are oud, vanilla, patchouli, and leatrice. And this is just a gorgeous scent if you love sweet, if you're a beginner to oud, this is definitely one to try because um, it's not going to be super sharp, overpowering, um, loud oud. It's very oud beginner friendly and it's just really a beautiful, pretty scent. The way this looks is the way it smells. Just gorgeous. Okay, and I don't think we can do a list of beast mode anything without including Montal on the list, okay? Intense Cafe is one of my favorites from the house. This scent is just so delicious. This is rose, this is coffee, this is vanilla, it's amber, it's musk, it's all things divine, okay? Put in one little purple bottle and I absolutely am obsessed with this scent. I mean, Give me all the dupes, give me, just give me all the rolls and coffee. That's what I need. All the sweet rolls and coffees, give them to me. I have Rose Gourmand, which is a dupe for this. I have Roses Vini, very similar profile to this one. I have uh, Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. I even have Ristretto, but you know what? This baby right here, it reigns supreme. This projects like no other. This lasts all day. Um, you really don't even have to spray your clothes because you're gonna have to wash your clothes to get the scent out. This All is just a beautiful scent. It is very popular, very hyped, and the hype is real. The hype is worth, you know, it's worth it because this is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. If you want something a little smoother, um, maybe a little less beast mode, 
go for the D-Logs, but this one, honey, if you're trying to hit them hard and you want them to smell you from way over there, Intense Cafe. All right, now the next one on this list is Hoo Bouquet. And this is from the private line of Maison Lancome. This is the one scent you don't need to overspray. You don't need 10 sprays of this. Four is the most that you're going to need. And you probably don't even want to spray it on your clothes. You know, you, I sprayed this on a robe and I'm just, I had to wash the robe because you come home, you want to put on a, diff a different fragrance the next day, but all you're going to get is Eau de Bouquet, okay? <laughs> Unless you have freshly washed clothes or housework or whatever, jacket. This is the beastliest of beast mold. This is a rose. This is oud. This is praline. This is gorgeous. I absolutely adore this scent. It's, I'm never gonna finish the bottle, never. Because I spray it a lot, I use it all the time, but I don't need much because it's just that, that heavy. It is, it is a heavy hitter and this is going to be like quintessential sweater weather uh, fragrance. I'm so happy that it's fall now, so I really get to like go hard with my old bouquet finally as I pick this up, you know, over the summer. But this is just such a beautiful, comforting, sweet, it's like a hug. <laughs> it's actually quite similar to Passion de l'Amour, but they're not dupes for each other, but because they both have, um, you know, that rose, that oud, and they're very, very sweet, they, they definitely start to remind you of each other, but just beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And if you have never smelled it or put your nose on it, I highly recommend you do. Last all day, you spray it, and that's all you have to do. Just spray it and, and go about your day. You don't have to decant or top it off ever. All right, now the next one is also from the house of Montal, and this is Arabian's Tonka. You guys, I don't know who would ever even need a full bottle of this. That's how beast mode heavy hitting this is. I sprayed this on the texture strip before I decided to record, and why did I spray this in the room? Because all I get is Arabian's Tonka right now. I can't smell nothing else but Arabian's Tonka. This scent is gorgeous, okay? This is a loud oud. This, if you're new to oud, don't start here. This ain't where you need to start. This is, it reminds you of Intense Cafe a little um, because of course it's from the same house, but it also, has some similar notes. So the notes of Arabian's Tonka are saffron and bergamot in the opening. And in the middle notes is going to be oud and rose, okay? So once you get down to the base, you have the sugar cane, tonka bean, amber, musk, and then you have an oak moss. So this is very, very sweet. Very unisex, but it's very sweet. It's very vanillic, ambery super oody, very warm and spicy, rose, very, it's just very aromatic. It's very powerful, very pungent, it's very strong. So if you don't like a strong scent, if you don't like oud, if you don't like it sweet, this is not for you. But if you like all that I did before mentioned, <laughs> definitely try it because it's absolutely gorgeous. I still haven't found a place where I can wear this. Like where am I gonna wear this to? I don't know. It's gonna have to be somewhere out. I probably wanna wear this, um, you know, on a really cold winter night when I'm in, you know, heavy, <laughs> heavy cold, done up, dressed up. Like this is that type of scent. Arabian's Tonka by Montal Perry. All right, the next one is from the house of Tom Ford. Now, I put this on the list because this is a Siage monster. This is so delicious, okay? This is, I don't know how somebody could not consider this a gourmand because it's all the gourmand vibes. Um, and this is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Okay, so Tobacco Vanille is super heavy on the vanilla, okay? It's very sweet. The tobacco is, there's nothing smoky about this. This is tobacco leaf. 
So what you're getting is like this sweet, fresh tobacco note, and it is so warm, and this is so spicy. It's an addictive scent. So you have tobacco leaf and spicy notes in the opening. You've got vanilla, cacao, and tonka bean. You have tobacco blossom, okay? These are the middle notes. How delicious are the middle notes? Then in the base, you've got dry fruits and woody notes. So all around a very sweet scent, very spicy, it's so warm, it's so cozy. And this is just, it's, this is a hug on a winter evening when you come home and you just wanna, you know, relax and, and feel like the coziness and comfort of a good gourmand, this is the one. When you want to go out, you know, on a nice, brisk fall night, this is it. This is the one that you bring out. It's a huge sillage monster. Decant and top off, you know, every four hours because it's not gonna last you forever. But when you have it on, when it's fresh, honey, it's, it's doing, it's giving what it needs to give, trust me. It is doing what it is supposed to do. And this is an amazing, this is like, you, you know what? This is fall and winter. Hey, I love this scent so much. Mm, just, just heavenly, just a heavenly scent. Okay, and the last one is one that I actually gave away in my collection. <laughs> this, I have a decant of though, and so I pull it out from time to time, but this is going to be Mugler's Angel Muse. This one is just a little heavy on the patchouli, and I'm just, I'm not gonna be in the mood for something this heavy on the patchouli too often, so I gifted the bottle that I had to my sister, but this is a delicious scent. Mm. This is hazelnut. It is very, very sweet. This has a very prominent patchouli note, but it's just something about this that is so, I could just probably stand here and smell this piece of paper all day. I just don't like the way chuli reacts when it comes to in contact with my skin. But if it wasn't for me in this odd relationship I have with patchouli, I would have like, 3.4 ounce of this like this is a beautiful scent it truly is and it is very um beast mode is it has an amazing sillage it's not as out there and overpowering as um the original angel but and that's actually something that i like about it because the original angel is whew, it's very overpowering um almost too much like one spray a day and you good like seriously this it's just something a little bit more refined and delicious about this one and that addition of the hazelnut is it's like nutella patchouli oh so aromatic and so delicious it's amazing and when you put this on everyone in the room is going to smell you sweet is balanced so wonderfully by the heavy woods it's got you know very earthy spicy, aromatic, like it is everything. This scent is everything in a scent. Sweet, woody, earthy, you know, it's chocolate, it's balsamic, it's got a little bit of citrus. Let me read you the notes because if you, if you like patchouli, this is one you need to get. This is pink pepper. This has grapefruit. This is the opening, okay? The, the middle is completely hazelnut cocoa spread. Then the base is the patchouli and the vetiver. It is so great. You're commanding attention when you put this gourmand on. This is not a gourmand for the pain of hearts. Like you gotta be real about your <laughs> about your hazelnut, your sweet, your 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 spicy. Like you gotta be real about all of it because this one is coming for the attention of all. It is gorgeous. All right, you guys, so that is my list for today. Please let me know in the comments below what are your top beast mode scents? What do you put on to walk out that door fully confident that everyone's gonna smell you, okay? They're gonna smell you coming from down the street. They're going to smell you after you left the building. Let me know what those are because I'm dying to get some more of my collection. I don't think I have enough. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and join my family if you have not already. 
Also, if you found any value in the content, give the video a big thumbs up as it helps my channel to grow. And I will catch you beautiful people on the next one.